Hey y'all, it's your crazy friend, Bossy Text Chick here. And I was just um, wanting to tell you a couple of things of what I'm up to. Now, last time I made a video, you know that I was using my Optimus G Pro, which if you remember, I was able to turn on and off without any buttons. And it's still, four months later, it's a wonderful experience. I love this phone so much. I went ahead and I skinned it with some white pinstriping on the side. And then I got a skin from, I don't know if you're able to see this. And then I got a skin from uh, my, the cell phone shop. And it really looks sleek, but any way you slice it, this is a big phone and I was watching the LG G2 event hoping that maybe they would have shrunk it down to a five inch phone, which I think if the bezel is reduced with a five inch screen, almost the size of the Galaxy S4, I think I could handle that. I had the Galaxy S4 and it was still a little big, but there was some bezel to play with. So I was hoping they could get it down a few millimeters and it would have been perfect, but they went ahead and as you know, it's going to be 5.2 inches, so I don't think I'm going to get rid of that phone for that phone because I'm just so tired of big phones, believe it or not. Enter. Oh, I'm tired of big phones, so look what I go and get. I get the Samsung uh, giant phone. <laughs> See, it's got a phone in it because this is the international version. It's got the phone and it's got 3G. But honestly, this I just use... On my desk, look, I get it skinned also. Isn't that pretty? Comes in white. In, in, uh, yeah. But anyway, so I went ahead and I also have a matching keyboard, but I don't have it handy. And that just sits at my desk and, you know, I use it as an internet device. It loads up videos so super quick. Everything's unlimited. So I am loving me some T Mobile. I mean, they've really stepped it up in my area. And oh my God, I'm in heaven. But anyway, so I was like, I, if you remember, I was using my husband's little exhibit to bop around with when I just wanted to grab a phone just to make a quick call or a text or something. But that didn't work out because after using this phone, which is so, I mean, it's just so smooth and amazing and it just does everything so effortlessly. You don't even have to pick this up because... Every button that you press, it's just so responsive and you can just leave it in the holder all day and just, you know, do what you got to do and you never have to pick it up. So, stop. Otherwise, it'll scare the hell out of me in a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, like I said, you don't even have to push that button because you could shut it off with the screen off and close button. And so, it'll just be sitting on my desk and I'm like, oh, I got to do this. So, I'll just touch that and I'll go there. Of course, I'm on video, so... It doesn't work, but there you go. I don't have to press that button because I don't like tactile feedback. So, um, awesome phone, but again, a little bit big. So then I saw on during the LG G2 event that a T-Mobile was coming out with a smaller phone, but it, I mean, honestly, this phone two years ago would have been a high-end device. It would have been like a 549er because other than the fact that it doesn't have two gigabytes of RAM and it doesn't have a remote control and it doesn't have one other thing. Let's see, what doesn't it have? Oh, no NFC. Other than those three things, this phone rocks. So I went into T-Mobile and I tried it out and I was like, oh my God, it's like my, F my LG Pro had a baby because it also is so Super, super, super fast, okay? I love LG. I love their their UI. I, I love everything they do. I used to be a Sammy girl, but these days I'm just loving me some LG. But anyway, so I went ahead and I bought this on the Jump program because I was like $10 to add a line and $10 a month for the Jump program. How could you beat that? I mean, just a year or two ago, if you wanted to get a new cell phone, it was like a $500 expense, you know, not to mention another 30 or 40 a month on your carrier. So, I mean, T-Mobile, hats off to you. But anyway, so I was loving on this. I bought it on the Jump program, and then I was looking at videos to see if I could see something about it and learn about it. And 
what do you think? I see it on this one video where the guy's like, I got, he, this was a Metro, P, bleh, Metro PCS um, handset, and he got it for $149. And I'm like, I paid $249 practically. So I called T-Mobile and I saw, you know, because I know they acquired Metro PCS, so I was like, well, that phone work on my network and everything. And they were like, yeah, it should. And I was like, well, can't you just give me a $100 credit and I could just keep everything the way it is? And they're like, no, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll just take this back to T-Mobile, which I haven't done yet, but I'm about to. There's theirs. There is absolutely no difference whatsoever. I can't show you because I already rebooted it and took off all of my information. But, I mean, this is super super fast it flies i mean it's a 2.5 gigahertz quad uh dual core 1.5 sorry but it's got a gig of ram and it just you know it doesn't have a lot of storage that might be the only thing but it does have an sd card and the battery amazing almost 2500 milliamp battery this thing lasts forever i mean you'll be using it and using it and using it thinking oh i better charge and you'll look up and it's like 75 percent it's crazy. It's really good battery life. But like I said, the only differences are on the back. This one's a little bit grayer and it's got no carrier branding, which I love. This one does say T-Mobile. What I also love about this, and again, I can't show you, but I always hate the way T-Mobile makes their all their icons that deep magenta while everything else isn't that pink. And I've always hated that, and I've always had to root to get rid of those damn pink icons. But the nice thing is, with my Metro PCS version, there are no pink icons. It's it's just whatever. But so let me tell you real quick before anybody leaves the video and goes and and gets one before I get to tell them this. So what happened was, I go into Best Buy. They have one. Yes, 4G in your area. You're good to go. I buy the phone and he was nice enough to price match me what they were selling it for on their website which was $99 so I got this for $99 and this was $270 I think I had a steal but anyway I get it home pop in my sim and first time ever it's carrier locked I mean I've had phones that were carrier locked but I always was able to get them unlocked through the carrier because my accounts have always been in good standing but in this case I hadn't even established an account I tried calling T-Mobile, they couldn't help. They were like, well, we we'll just go by the store tomorrow and try a different SIM, and I'm like, okay, great. And then I called Metro PCS, but I don't know, they just kept switching me from department to department. I tried Googling it because the error I was getting was SIM card is perso locked, which I never saw before. And I really couldn't find much information, but I did find this one guy that said that he had that message and he just went ahead and bought an unlock code and popped it in and it worked. And I was like, I went looking and I saw that there was this one place, this website called safeunlock.com and they were really good. They said they were having a special, you know, you enter your model number and they tell you how much it will cost to unlock. And they said that it was normally 17 but they were doing it for 10 So I was like, $10, what have I got to lose? I, I'd never bought an unlock, uh, an unlock code before but I bought it. They sent it to me almost immediately, and I went into the dialer, and I did all the stuff they told you to, but the only thing I kept doing wrong, and you only get 10 attempts, and I used three of them because idiot over here didn't know what the model code was, and I thought, you know, and I kept typing in, they tell you to drop the letters and just put the numbers, so I kept up putting the dialer code and then just putting a three because it's an F3, but then I snapped, and I was like, wait, this has a real model number. So I looked it up and it said S569. So I, so I was like, no, it said 5569. Yeah, 5569 or whatever it said. But the bottom line is on my fourth attempt, I was like, I hope I'm getting the model number right. I was like, let me Bluetooth myself and see what model request permission. And sure enough, it wasn't 5569, it was S569. And I was keying a S for a five because I'm blind. And I didn't see that. So luckily I caught that. I keyed it in with an S. Well, I dropped the S because that's a letter. And I hope everybody's keeping up with all this because I'm on a roll. I'm on fire. But anyway, I dropped the S, just did the 569, and man, it unlocked. And it's been awesome ever since. I get really great speeds. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, la, la, la. Let's see. Well, I'm on Wi-Fi. I guess I need to take it off of there. Let's see what happens. 
But man, I was so excited. I mean, I was like a little kid on Christmas. Okay, so there's my 4G indicator. And let's begin the test and see what we get. And T-Mobile in my area, it really, well, yeah, it really pings the network fast. And that's what's most important. I mean, yeah, those are great speeds. I'm very happy with them. Anything over two gigabyte, oh, two megabytes, I'm thrilled about. So that is awesome. But when it pings the network that quick, that's really the what's going to get you a good strong download or upload or whatever. So I am over the moon. I just wanted to share with y'all if anybody is thinking of getting either a transition phone or if you have a bigger phone but you want a little phone to bop with, T-Mobile is the way to go. So I pay $120 a month. I got four phones on T-Mobile. Three of them only have 500 megabytes high speed, but... I'm on Wi-Fi most of the time, but on my one line, I have unlimited, and I've racked up as much as 28 gigabytes in one month, and they've not given me any problems, so, you know, I mean, even with the 28 gigabytes, I still try not to take advantage. I always download, you know, watch videos on the lowest setting, and, you know, if I'm at home, I always make sure Wi-Fi's on, just because I don't want to be, a, you know, I don't want to be greedy or anything, but, man, I'm loving me some T-Mobile. Okay, I hope you all caught all that, and that's it for now. Uh, I think I'm going to be, you know, okay for a while. I just, the one thing I might weaken and get that LG G2, even though it's so big, because that is one bad ass bone. All right, take care, y'all. Bye.